So to start this radon process, what I did is I bought this machine by EcoSense. This was a couple hundred bucks. Um, I got it on Amazon, links in the description. So this thing's been running for about a month now. Um, and what it does is it just runs in the background. Uh, it gives you like a weak reading and it's not as accurate. And then after about a month's time, it gives you a reading and it changes frequently actually. Um, right now it's 73 uh, BQ over M squared or M cubed. Um, but this number has gone up to just under 200. I think it was 185. And the recommended levels are like anything over 100 you should try to address. Anything over 200 you should probably try to address sooner than later. But it's fluctuated anything from like right now it's quite low at 73. But last night, for example, it was like 130. So it fluctuates all over the place. So just to be clear, though, I am not a licensed radon guy. This is kind of what I came up with with all of my research, clearly with these tuck tape things. I'm sure if I hired somebody to do this and I saw tuck tape on my events, I wouldn't be all that impressed. But for me, it's perfect. And you know what? The price was right. I think I'm four or five hundred bucks for this thing. And uh, I think it's going to help a lot. So the science, as I understand it, behind radon is that it builds up and collects under the earth. And it gets released through your front lawn, the mountains, the Rockies, all these places, and your house included. And what happens in the house is that it does get contained within the house. So you're trying to exhaust below the slab. And the way a slab works is you pour your gravel. And then there's the concrete on top of the gravel. And the gravel, I guess there's enough gaps and cracks that it does draw from the gaps in the gravel and it exhausts it through this, this pipe. So check out what I did. So we've cut this four inch hole in the slab and I've hand dug probably about six inches of the gravel. And I'm gonna go all the way till I hit dirt. All right, so we've got our radon fan right here that still needs to be wired in, but um, we got some three inch PVC that runs all the way down into the slab. And you wanna minimize your elbows as much as you can as it like it adds some resistance to the airflow. Um, I got some three inch PVC and it didn't fit. So I ended up kind of MacGyvering something here. Um, this is just gonna, it's gonna work just fine. So I, and this needs to be serviceable anyway. So we didn't wanna glue this connection if this ever failed. So this exhausts right to the exterior and I've got a special louver out there. Um, but it's just, I got this thing on Amazon. It was a couple hundred bucks and I got another 150 bucks worth of pipe. I cored a four inch hole into the slab. I silicone the snot out of it so it's all sealed. So this thing is gonna run 365, uh, 24 seven. So here we are outside and I put this diffuser out here and it's an intake actually, but it's just permanently in place and there's uh, the little fins and stuff for critters. But uh, when I jammed this thing in there, I gobbed a bunch of silicone around that pipe. So if you end up taking on this little project here, let me know in the comments section. I mean, nobody wants radon in their house in the first place, especially with a family or elderly, young, anybody. It's not good for your health. So hopefully this helps you out and let me know what you think. And if you have any questions or whatever, let me know in the comments section and I'll try to answer. Good luck.